Welcome to this presentation that describes our research in the area of data modeling and analysis. That's the name of our research group. So our group works in the area of artificial intelligence, mathematical modeling, and this new field you may have heard of, data science. So of course, in the real world today, in the modern world, there's very strong integration between uh, web-based systems that are artificial intelligence supported. And there are, of course, many strong applications of this new technology in chemical engineering. So many people fear the rise of uh, AI. Um, there is a statistic that it will likely replace 40% of the jobs currently out there. But uh, what's also likely is that uh, jobs will also evolve such that what we'll see in the future is more like a cybernetic operation where we have this blending of human judgment and uh, the computational support. So this is something um, that's not just uh, nice to think of, it's also something that we are seeing in our research. So we find that we get the best results by combining um, AI computation with uh, a human interpretation of the results that it's giving us. Um, I do think that we'll start to see a new elite of people who early on adopted artificial intelligence and who are able to become functional in it, i.e. are able to code and really pop the hood and, and get in and, and do real AI. Um, and uh, in the research that we do, you'll find that there are uh, different aspects. So some parts are very applied. So there might be some industrial partner that uh, just needs some AI um, implemented in achieving some outcome, like a better reaction rate and that kind of thing. Um, on the other hand, there are some very fundamental parts where in our group we are trying to develop new mathematical techniques. Um, we are developing new algorithms and contributing fundamentally to the field. So it's a mixture of applied and fundamental work, and uh, a lot of that does depend on the student involved in the project and where their interest lies. Um, I, I believe that the research we are doing is really research into the art of thinking. Um, we are writing code that writes its own code, and when you're writing code like that, it's evolving itself, and uh, it's starting to look like that code is simulating learning. So the holy grail of AI is about self-awareness. So systems that are self-aware and which um, can start to think of themselves. So currently, AI is nowhere near that, but we all think of that as the gold standard. That's uh, uh, what we refer to as strong AI. Uh, currently, uh, what's out there in the field is, is weak AI, but it still looks uh, um, pretty effective uh, when you look at uh, all the uh, systems that are out there. Um, looking at our particular applications, of course, in chemical engineering, we are applying these methods in uh, water and water security. So we've got various projects on with Amgeni water and so on. Um, in catalytic reactor systems, we have industrial partnerships with uh, Johnson Matthey. That's the world's largest uh, catalyst manufacturer. We have work going on with the Durban chemicals cluster in industrial symbiosis, where the waste materials uh, from one process may serve as uh, the feedstock uh, or the, the raw feed to another industry. So instead of uh, losing mass from uh, the system, uh, you are internally recycling. Um, there's resource distribution, uh, expertise and chemicals matching, uh, research in neural networks. Um, we do some pure AI and pure graph theory work as well. Uh, nothing wrong with that. Um, and uh, something fairly new is uh, we are looking at web-based distributed computing as well. Uh, looking at uh, who we have in the group, um, so uh, there's a director, uh, so that's me. Um, we have also a, a research manager who, uh, who, who is quite essential in maintaining our operations and running things smoothly. Um, we have people that are actively involved in the, in the HR and the uh, admin side of things. Um, there is a software development manager. So in our type of research, the technician is actually uh, the software development. So of course, most of the time we are writing code. So a software development manager is like our technician. Um, we have three PhDs and five MSCs. Um, and these are the various uh, industrial partners that we work with. 
So Sasol UKZN is a direct fund of some of our work. There's Johnson Mathy, uh, we mentioned that catalyst company. Um, there's uh, also the Department of Higher Education and Training and the Durban Chemicals Cluster. So you can see some of our partners there. And of course, uh, here are some of the faces from our research group. So whatever field you are interested in, I do hope you'll find a good match for your research future. And uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you for listening to this presentation.